Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, today I just want to talk real quick about things that I check uh, anytime I leave my home state and I go to a different state as far as laws around carrying a pistol, right? Because every state is different and unfortunately there is no way for you to be able to carry in all 50 states uh, that's, that's illegal, right? It's impossible for you to acquire all the necessary permits for you to legally carry in all 50 states. So that's sure in line with the Second Amendment. Anyway, uh, so here are some things quick that I check every time I go to a different state. I will recommend an app called CCW. It's about $2. I have it on my iPhone. I use it all the time. Uh, and it helps me check these things before I go to a different state. So I don't know those guys who made the app, but they do a great job. Highly recommend it, and you should use it. So, things that I should check, the first thing you should obviously check is, can you legally carry your firearm in that state, right? Because there are a lot of states where you cannot. And I always hear some story about someone who wandered into New Jersey or went to New York or went to California or went to one of these places where you are not allowed to legally carry a firearm. And then they get there and they're surprised when they're arrested and handcuffed. So, the very first thing you should do is check if you are legally allowed to carry in that state. The second thing I always like to check is do signs carry the rule of law? Now I'm in Minnesota and in Minnesota signs do not carry the rule of law, which means when we see a sign that says, you know, bans guns in these premises, I ignore that and walk right past it because it means absolutely nothing in this state. Most states signs do carry the rule of law and uh, however, that's always something, like I said, that I like to check because I want to know if I can ignore those signs or if they actually uh, carry the rule of law. And if they do carry the rule of law, what's the penalty, right? Because some states, it's like a $25 fine. Uh, other states, it might be more serious. So I, I want to know what that is. Uh, another one that I always like to check, of course, is mag limits. Uh, I won't go in a state with mag limits anyway, but again, if you're going to carry in that state and you're going there for whatever reason, I would suggest that you check the mag limit laws in that state because if you're used to living in a freedom state where you carry a standard capacity magazine and now you're going somewhere for a weekend or to visit relatives or whatever and you're only supposed to carry 10 rounds, you should probably be advised about that, right? You should be aware of those laws. Duty to inform is another law that I like to check. If I happen to get pulled over while in that state, do I have the duty to inform? Meaning, if I get pulled over, do I need to immediately inform the police officer that yes, in fact, I am carrying a pistol? Uh, in which case, again, I want to know that because if I do get pulled over and I don't inform in a duty to inform state, that could cause problems for me simply because I didn't know the local state law. So I always like to check that. The other one I usually like to check is transport laws. Uh, there are some states, like we're in Minnesota, so I drive through Illinois a couple times a year to go various places. Uh, and when I do in Illinois, I'm allowed to keep my pistol in the car. You can do that in the state of Illinois. Uh, you just can't take it outside the car because I don't have a permit for Illinois and it's too hard. Yeah, I don't, maybe there are out-of-state permits for Illinois. I should check that, but I don't think there are unless I looked. Point being, mm, excuse me. And maybe there are out-of-state permits for Illinois. I don't know. I haven't checked that recently, to be honest with you. Uh, point being that in Illinois, I can transport my gun in the car and I can do so legally. And I know that. So that if I, may, if I get pulled over or whatever, I know that it's still legal for me to have that gun in the car. Uh, so these are kind of the big ones that I like to check. Uh, the other one is I, I like to see what the alcohol drinking limits are. In some states, you can't even go in a bar if you're carrying. In other states, you can go in. Uh, you just can't drink. In other states, like in Minnesota, you can go in, but your legal alcohol limit is 0.04. And so those laws, again, they vary by state. And it's important to know that and make wise adult decisions based on all that. So that's just a quick helpful tip of things I like to check when I go to different states. Uh, if there's something I missed, please let me know, uh, comment below. But other than that, uh, be wise out there, guys. Be judicious and make smart choices. Do brave deeds and endure.